First time thrifting for baby girl. I am back at the OG Savers down where we used to live. I was already this direction, so decided might as well pop in. I'm very much looking forward to having a few pieces because then I'll have kind of a pattern and I can start making things because I have lots of fabric. Also, I returned that pink thing that we got to like show my parents and whatnot that we're having a baby girl because it was $20. And I'm pretty sure the baby clothes here, like each thing is like $3 so I could get a handful of things. So that's what we're doing. We'll see how long the shopping spree lasts because I've not been feeling good today. Pretty much every day. Let's go inside. Okay, I just realized now I have to look at baby clothes and books. Lots more to do. And I found this cute fabric. Isn't that cute as a little dress or something? This place always has the best fabric. Another thing I'm realizing is I have to do a lot of math to figure out you know, how old she'll be and if she should wear long sleeves or if it's summer. Finding some good things. Oh, it's cute. Um, excuse me? What? Carhartt baby clothes? Look how cute those are. I'm finding all the overalls. Look at that, another Carhartt one. Crazy. More overalls. As you can tell, this baby, she's gonna look like a mini me. It has been about a month, but I'm finally going to show you the things that I have been collecting. I've been thrifting more than just that one time, and I've gotten some cute things from my sister too, so let's just get started. As you know, I love wearing overalls, so I'm going to make my baby wear overalls. I found these pink corduroy ones. They are six months. So, gotta wait a little for that one. Another pair of overalls I found are some Carhartt ones. These were $5 and they are original Carhartt. Pretty cool. And another pair of Carhartt. These are corduroy black and I actually have a pair that is like exactly like these. So, they can be matching. Now for dresses. I have this super tiny cute pink dress. It's a newborn, so that's why it's so tiny. Let me just say I am very glad it's a girl because I think shopping for boys would be really hard. I guess that's the only dress I got, but I got a lot of little like romper things. So there's the strawberry one and each of these was like a dollar or two. Little leg holes, cute little strawberry. Here is another romper, yellow. This one. Another one, and here's the last one. I really like this one, it's like kind of vintagey. Now for little baby pants. My sister actually got me these. They're so cute. This is totally her style. Her baby wears like all dinosaur and beach stuff. And she got me this little onesie to go with it. Well, I actually don't know if they go together. They can go together. And she got me a little jacket, so cute. For the rest of the pants, I have been trying to get little neutral colors, so white, gray, these little jean ones, these tiny, tiny black ones, which are my favorite because they're newborn and they're so tiny. Every time I've showed Nolan these, he like puts it in his arms and he's like, oh, little baby, cause so tiny. I got some actual jeans. And then three pink ones. So this pink, this pink, and these little pink sweats. We got some yellow ones. I guess her color palette is yellow and pink. That is what I'm gravitating towards. And then these little cheetah sweats and these little ones. Now this, I don't know if it's a dress or a shirt, but I thought that was really cute with like the little jeggings or something. And I just got two tops that are white. We have another jacket. This is a little windbreaker that I thought was cute. And I found one of these sleep sacks, which is really nice. I think it's a six month old one. Oh, it's a medium, whatever that means. 
I think all of this in total was probably around like 40 bucks and that's like two outfits at Target. So I'm, I do not regret going to the thrift store and finding these things because she'll just outgrow them in a couple months. But another thing that I've been looking at is little headbands because I think they're really cute, but they're like $7 at the store for a little headband. So I found a tutorial online just to how to make a little baby headband. I'll show you. So you have to do it with stretchy fabric. And these are the ones I've made so far. So this little white one, little green one. And I have so much fabric that I'll probably just make a bunch and see if any of my friends who are having girls want them or my sister. But I think those will be cute little accessories. Today, as I'm filming this, I am 16 weeks and I am still not showing really at all. I guess I'll show you. There's maybe like a little bit, but not really. That's pretty normal for me. Thinking maybe by 20 weeks I'll be showing a little bit because I haven't posted anything on Instagram that I'm pregnant because I think it's cute when people do like a little bump pic, but I don't have a bump, so just waiting. But she's in there. We got an ultrasound today and she's still in there. And we confirmed she's a girl, not just from the blood test. So that's exciting. I hope you guys have liked seeing me thrift some baby clothes. I might do a tutorial on how to make these on my art channel. If you're not following that, go ahead and give that a follow. But I will talk to you guys later. Bye. Mm -hmm.